Before I proceed to the main event of the video, I want to say one more time, the real problem with Plasma Overview is the grid arrangement of workspaces. Very very quickly what I mean. The first problem, is when we are making this move. The eye instantly loses focus where we are. We're losing our orientation and our spiritual balance. Then, in GNOME we don't use Alt Tab anymore, we switch windows directly from Overview, and it is super sweet. But in Plasma the same move is very annoying to do. In GNOME, we can use more than 4 virtual desktops without a problem. But doing the same in Plasma, everything becomes too small, and if we have lots of windows on each workspace, it becomes a nightmare of mess. Because in Plasma we usually have a 2 rows grid, it is very hard to memorize our workspace's position when we navigate with shortcuts. And if we make a 1 row grid? I don't even have to demo how unusable that will become. But this video is meant for Plasma users, so we better watch how everything works in GNOME. So, we press Super to enter Overview, and let me do that one more time, to watch the smooth transition that preserves our focus, orientation and happiness. From there, we can easily switch windows, and believe me, it is lots more convenient than Alt Tab because we have more control. Oh, and we can use arrows to select windows too. And we can also close a window directly from Overview, that for some reason is missing from Plasma. Then, we can access all the rest stuff, like calendar and notifications, or we can use our application launcher, or we can perform a search. You see? GNOME Overview not only preserves our happiness, but it preserves our full desktop components too. And we can have as many virtual desktops as we want, without sacrificing anything. Okay! We're sacrificing one thing, because we now can't see what applications are running on each workspace. But we also have strong workarounds that solve that problem in a large degree, so it is not a super huge problem really. I may do a full comparison of Boom vs Plasma virtual desktops and activities, but right now, I want to perform a UX review in a very common scenario, and see how the two desktops behave. So, this is going to be very similar to the UX review I did with Elementary and GNOME previously. I will only do two moves, and see what happens. Only that this time I'm not going to use a native desktop app, but a third party something big, like Firefox for example. That is now 70 people smaller, but whatever. So, first move, I will open Firefox. Then, I will open a new tab. And then I will try to close it. Now, we get the quit dialog, and as we can see this is a modal dialog of the main window, and so we can move it around, or move it to another workspace. Second move. While on Overview, I will just open GNOME Application Launcher. And that was all, we are done! Extra content, if you guys are wondering how we can close such windows from Overview, here it is. When there is a confirmation dialog or something, even on native apps, GNOME will exit us from Overview to close that window. And now Plasma turn. Same two moves. First we open Firefox. Then I will open a new tab, and then I will try to close it. We again get the confirmation dialog, that is on top, so we can't give focus on the main window. However, we can actually move it. And not just move it, but we can even tile it. And at some point I will upload a video about tiling managers, but it is so ridiculous when these guys get all those windows tiled, but they are so losers that they never show this mess on their videos. Anyway, next I'm going to open the overview as I did before in GUM, and now we get two separated windows. If we try to move the big window, then the small window vanishes and reappears on release. If we move the small window to another workspace, then the big window just magically teleports. And now the second move. I will open the application launcher from the overview. 
If you're negative you'll say, what the fuck? If you're positive you'll say, wow, blur works! But if you're baby woke, you will discover the bug that we can't move kick off to another workspace. I tried slowly and sneaky to fool it, but it just got disappeared on the middle of the way. But I didn't say my last word, I didn't give up. With courage and hope, I open alternatives, and I said application dashboard instead.